Training record 8, the shadow steps. Unorthodox, unpredictable and fast. In our way of bringing the principles of internal martial arts into a free and dynamic fighting frame, the shadow steps are an essential part of our training. This rather unorthodox way of combat step work was developed by my teacher Ismet Himmet. By extracting some of the most important footwork principles out of the Wudang arts, especially the unique way of sword fencing, he developed a way of movement with the partner which is dynamic, flexible and unpredictable, as the old Chinese classic describe it, as well as the modern fighting frame is demanding. As our basic standing Qigong builds the irreplaceable foundation for our internal arts, like Taiji, the shadow steps become the Qigong and foundation for our combat system. Every student wanting to learn how to bring the principles of our internal arts into a realistic fighting situation needs first to learn how to move flexible and free in space with a partner. This way of movement builds the root and structure for what we call internal MMA. The control of our leg work will later on open the possibility for all other weapons in combat. Everything starts from the floor. Fast feet means fast pelvis. Fast pelvis means powerful and fast striking, kicking as well as throwing. Two of the most important laws in any kind of combat are the laws of distance and rhythm. Whoever controls the distance and the rhythm is controlling the fight. How can any technique be applied on us by the opponent when he is unable to get close to us at the right time? By deciding ourselves when and how we come close to the opponent, all other aspects of the fight can be controlled. With an efficient and fast step work, we can decide when we want to allow the opponent to be in reach and when not. We can disturb the rhythm when feeling pressure, as well as moving in and out in order to create a safe space, while only allowing the other to come close when we are ready for it and expecting it. The art in that game of distance is the art of hiding, when and where we are. The shadow steps allow us to move in a very unpredictable way, making our opponent believe that we are in reach while at the same time being already out of danger or even ready for counter. Of course, to apply these principles on a high level is not easy and the reason rarely martial artists can showcase these skills in real combat. <laughs> Like any Qigong system can only unfold by practicing it daily over a long period of time, also the shadow steps and the understanding of distance and rhythm can only unleash within a very regular and patient practice. The step work has to become so common that no thought about the feet has to be done while being confronted with our partner. Independently, the legs need to learn to carry us into space in an unpredictable manner that even we as the applying athletes sometimes do not know where the feet will carry us next. The feet have to develop their own independent intelligence, taking by themselves care that they control the space around us. For that, the basic step work has to become in a long process our second nature. Like when we run after the bus, we don't need to think how to run as fast as possible to catch the bus. We will also not have to think anymore how to create distance, angles and traps for our opponent using a free and creative step work like that. By internalizing these principles, students have the possibility to build a more safe and relaxed feeling in sparring or even more intense fighting frames. They start to decrease the fear, which is connected to the uncontrollable nature of combat, by gradually building up more and more control. This control is providing a reduction of damage taken in every sparring and fighting session. Following the idea of, we first need to learn how to fall before we learn how to throw, we also want our students first to learn how to handle with attacks in a safe way. The more safe we feel in combat, the more easy we can start to apply clean techniques ourselves and be actually successful. Like that, the shadow steps become together with our internal exercises, the Qigong for our MMA approach. They create a way of movement with a partner, which is more dynamic as well as healthy as orthodox styles by putting their focus on control rather than on fast success. They teach students to move harmonic and beautiful, even in fast motions, while at the same time building endurance and the ability of distance and angle work. Nice session.